Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome once more to this presentation for science class. Let us sing a song that says, Jesus loves me, yes, I know. Jesus loves me, yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good. Let us have a word of prayer. Close on our hands and close on our eyes. Let us have our, let us pray. Dear God, we thank you once more, O Lord, because you have been so good to us. We ask you, Lord, this morning as we start this presentation for science plan that you can bless us. You can give each kid wisdom, O Lord, that they can understand the class this morning. Please, O Lord, guide us. Your presence be with us this day. May your angels take care of each one of the kids this day and protect us and keep us, O oh Lord, because we ask all of these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Very good, boys and girls. We continue studying about the animals. Today we're going to study about the birds. Who love the birds? I guess you all have a special bird, right? Well, I love the toucan. I don't know how much you all have seen this bird, but the toucan, or the toucan is a beautiful bird, okay? And I love to see how, uh, how beautiful colors on him. In our Bible, we find a text that talks about bird, and it says, look at the bird of the air. Your heavenly father feeds them. Who feeds the birds? Our heavenly father, and who is he? Well, he is God. This text, we find this in Matthew 6, 26. You can see the beautiful birds and nobody feeds them. Okay, only our heavenly father that in heaven feeds all of these birds. He provides for them food. And that is beautiful? Sure, that is wonderful. Okay, birds, how wings, remember, how wings that they can fly in the air. They how um, light and hollow bones. Their bones are not heavy like us. Their bones are light. They have feet and claws. Their foot has claws, okay? They do not have teeth. And they, they, they have feet which is used to tear. Their peak is used to tear things, okay? The bait, the uh, chisel, the cross, or they chew their food. Birds have uh, streamlined bodies which help them to fly. Streamlined bodies. Okay, the feet and the claws of the bird are shaped. You all can see here how they are shaped. Uh, and they use this class for what? For find food. Okay, this is how they catch different animals so they can eat. Some of the claws that says are long curled and they have long nails in front of their feet in the present. Claws. Claws can be used for climbing, protecting, holding their food, swimming, and perching. Okay, do birds communicate? Yes, they communicate. They communicate through their sight and through song. The birds create their own song and they communicate with other birds and animals. What for the communicate? Where some of them uh, to mark the territory, okay? To identify others. Uh, and some of them too, to, um, to catch um, animals, okay? Or to warm or to alert the other birds that something is wrong or they're dangerous or something is coming. 
to uh, put them in danger, okay? Types of, types of peak, okay? These are their peak. This is a pigeon, a sparrow and a pigeon. It say how crushing peak for crushing seeds and greens to make it soft before eating. They crush their, their seeds and their greens so it can be soft for them to eat. Okay, let's see. The parts of a bird, they have their own parts, okay? This is their eye, this is their beak, beak. this is their head, this is their wings, they have two of them, and their wings, their whole feathers, all of this you call it their body. These are the, their feet, you call them claws, and they have a tail. Let's say it again, eyes, head, wings, feather, body, claws, tail, and beak. Okay, again, beak, eye, head, wings, tail, claws, body, and feathers. Okay, let us see a short video from the birds, or about the birds, okay? I can put this on here. Let me connect this. Birds. Parrot. Mena. Sparrow, Sparrow. Pigeon. Eagle. Woodpecker. Crow. Dove. Penguin Goose Duck Stalk Vulture Ostrich Seagull Okay I hope you all have seen some of these birds and you, can, you all can listen or you heard. Most of them have their own song, right? Different song. Birds. Okay. Okay, but activities for tomorrow, because today is not in science, you're going to cut the word that forms parts of the bird, okay? And here, you're going to I cut this out and it say um, you're going to stick them in a 
and you can stick them in your board in your book on a paper um saying which one goes first okay and you go and put each one together this one go first this one go second this one go third no this one go first second third fourth fifth and sixth okay muy bien, aquí me van a cortar las partes, estas partes, y van a colocarla aquí, que son las partes de un pájaro. Aquí ustedes me van a cortar también y pegar las, la secuencia de cada foto, cómo debe ir cada foto. Por ejemplo, aquí está la mamá con los, con los huevos, debería ser el primero, después el segundo, el tercero, el cuarto, el quinto y el sexto. Como van a poner el ciclo eh, de pájaro. ¿Cuál es el primero que debe ser? Que sería este. Muy bien. Thank you for your attention. May God follow us. Happy blessing.